Content. Lads, guys, etc. Turn 19 to the house garden. A hot seat is upon us. It's right on top of us. And God, it's heavy. What's going on? Nothing good. Star Pike has fallen. Yes, I got away with it. I didn't have to bother doing the battle in the end. Fan bloody tastic, although it seems the locals aren't happy about my laziness. Not only have we got some rebels right here, which we don't know what they are, we've got a rebel army with an actual general. It's half a stack of troops almost. House Martel has conquered its way up to our border at last. It looked like they were kind of coming up this way, so they must have taken all the purple Dane castles. So, well, apparently my people still think it's a Dane castle, even though we know that Martel controls the territory around them, so I don't know how that works. But anyway, <laughs> that means Martel probably have all of this going back over here. So they've probably got pretty big. And then, of course, we've got Durandon here. And I'm still worried about a possible union of Durandon and Martel coming against us and still, like, <laughs> assuming they will because they should... And it would be a bit weird if they didn't at this point anyway, but uh, we'll see what happens. We're kind of waiting for that to happen, because I've got these armies not doing anything, just like <laughs> waiting for that to happen, assuming it's going to. But I, I strongly suspect Martel's actually been hostile against me from the very beginning, since they were going around killing all of my agents. Like, why my agents when they were at the start there were AI factions here you could have been killing the agents of? So <laughs> it seems like they just had something against me. And they should. I am the... the the, the leading player probably is check here. No, apart from wildlings winning financially. <laughs> what the f Why aren't we richer than the wildlings? They've just got like snow. They have no industry. They like they don't know how to work metal. They just have stone and wood based economy. How are we losing to them financially? These guys who I happen to be at war with for reasons I completely do not know. I've been at war with them since the whole start of the campaign and I've never actually come into contact with them. They're, uh, they're standing in such a fashion for a classic siege drawout. So if I fight this guy, we'll have to fight their main force at the same time. But it would bring out the garrison of this castle so we could kill it and take the castle for free this turn. And that would be something happening in the video, wouldn't it? Oh, this is, this is all breaking down immediately. Okay, okay, I can see you're not going to follow the orders. Let's try and give them more orders. I'm going to try not to pause it. I like to try and fight the battles without using pause, even though... You have that option available, and I guess you're kind of meant to do it to make it easier. To make like the micro burden not be so high, but I enjoy not doing it just because it seems... I don't know, it seems more pro to not do it like that. Anyway, <laughs> their general's completely bogged down in our ranks, but of course that doesn't mean anything because generals are invincible. Oh, that was dodgy. <laughs> Almost hit our general. <laughs> oh no, we lost half our men. All these, like, pikemen units, I just can't do anything to them. They seem to just wreck our infantry. They seem to be pretty good, these halberdier units. More effective than our equivalent pike things. We'll look at those exposed archers, we'll go for them. Still, we'll we'll have to try, won't we? I need to try and take down these guys with archers, I guess, but... Hmm. Come on, come on, come on. Ah, it's, just, it's just not effective enough, even with that tight formation. It's very much in our favour, is it? Hmm, I disagree with that assessment. Good sir. <laughs> uh, it does appear we've lost pretty much our entire army, in fact, I would say. I would say this is going to be awfully close, if it is even winnable. Because these goddamn halberds won't go. And our general's somehow losing this little fight here. Here we go. Come on, knights. Yes, get past the tree. You can get past the tree. I need you to really, really somehow do some damage. Oh, it was the worst charge of all time. You killed like two of them. <laughs> God damn it. God damn it. And our unit routed. Right, it didn't work, did it? Get out of there then. Where are those arrows coming from? Oh, there's actually a tiny unit just there. General, please don't die in this fight. I thought you'd just completely annihilate them, but this is proving to be difficult. Oh, it's just their general. Oh no, their halberdiers are approaching. Please, everyone shoot this tiny unit of halberdiers before it kills my general. This halberdier unit, why won't you round? <laughs> Please, seven men. <laughs> the general's coming after me. Okay, turn around. Charge this one guy. Just like stick him with something. I know you can do it. Please, come on, find a way. While oh, the archers are just going wild on those five men. Four men. Why won't they round? This is absolutely unheard of, right? Never mind, okay, you're not gonna rout. I get it. They're getting hit by arrows, but they're, they're just tanking them. They love it. This one man. What is the morale on the enemy side? Yes, I know they're becoming tired. I'm tired. Don't talk to me about being tired. What is happening here with this general? Please. Yeah. Why was that so hard, you bastards? Will they lose the will to fight? I find this very unlikely at this point. 94% of the enemy army is dead, but I guess... Does this game have no morale shock for army losses? I don't really remember. Maybe it doesn't. 
because these guys are still on eager morale. They've lost half their men. 95% of the army is dead. And they're being shot in the face by arrows. They're, they're surprisingly not dying from this point-blank range arrow volleys. You'd think like a pikeman unit like this would be really weak against arrow fire because that's the, the main counter to pikes, but it's not happening. Our guys are on skirmish mode and the enemy are really slow, so they should be able to escape. All of Christendom will be awed by the victory today. We lost 850 men. Looks like the enemy lost something like... Well, about twice that. It seemed like it went worse than that, but we did kill twice as many as we lost, so that was something. Do we get any casualties healed? Oh, we got loads of casualties healed, actually. We got a couple of hundred of our men back after that fight. Now, do not crash, you son of a bitch, or I will cry and possibly commit suicide. Do not crash. You've got to let me save. And don't let anyone into the castle. All troops will be executed. Get out of the castle. Normies get out of Willowwood. Yes, yes, die. Die, you fools. Die for my amusement. Yes, yes. It worked. It worked. We lost everything. But it worked. And uh, ah, our nobility has increased for executing the enemy troops. Of course, of course. Uh, welcome back. We finally made it to turn 20 in the age of Petty King's Hot Sleep for House Gardener. We're going to start the 20th turn. We have something for you, noble Thar, says House Stark. Human! <laughs> Thank God. No aliens treating with us today. Um, trade rights. Yeah, sure. I mean, we're so far away from each other. Will this even do anything? Probably not. <laughs> I've got to say not there. <laughs> anyway, what's happening? Anything? Anything good happening today? Uh, let's quickly review the situation here, because we were doing stuff here. Oh, yes, we need to take out those rebels. The recently captured settlement of Willow Wood appears to be particularly pissed off. Oh my God, look at this. There's actually an assassin. Was he going for someone? There's no message saying that someone's dead. Did I only send one general to fight that? Hopefully. Hopefully we're fine there. Can we assassinate their assassin? Ah ha The tables are turned, my assassin. What? <laughs> he assassinated me! Assassin died! No, a 90% chance You f His name was Gonthor Rowan. And the man inside is Loris Rowan. Maybe we've just witnessed the tragic tale of a brother trying to protect another brother from the evil, the evil Morris Rygar, <laughs> who absolutely fucking pwned my guy up with no mercy. Okay, well that went well, didn't it? I mean, I could just reload the turn since I haven't done anything, but you know. I'm an Iron Man! You can't stop me! I guess we want this, small sept. Yeah, that's Faith of the Seven, right? So if we build this, they'll get a little bit happier, <laughs> which will help out, and slowly convert them to our thingamajigs, seven, the seven best, <laughs> seven best, all God's worst. That's the slogan <laughs> of the sept, I think. Seven best, all God's worst. Wait a fucking minute, who the fuck is this? Uh, 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 my army has rebelled against me. <laughs> Hang on. This is the army from Hornhill, must have been going to Hammerthal. Those are my troops in there, including my <laughs> silver elite knights. Could you not? Could you not? It seems these two chaps didn't join the rebellion, but uh, they're a bit screwed now. Uh, it's going to have to be this army. Tyrell here will have to kill that rebel army, and then start coming this way to fight that rebel army. God damn it, so many rebel armies! Okay, well it looks like we're going to get started with this then. What is this? They're just kind of running at us. Are the archers ready to fire? Yeah, get firing then. What are they doing over here? Oh god, they sent 11 guys at us. Ah, they want an archery match, do they? We have a lot of archers in comparison to them. So fine. That's fine by me. <laughs> Come and lose the archery match if you really want to. It was your choice. There's the cell sword as well. The army's not even doing anything to help. This is absolutely ruthless from the enemy commander. This is the remnants of House Peak. You see they've got House Peak troops among them. So they basically hired a bunch of guys like, yeah, we're going to bring House Peak back again. We'll make House Peak great again. Now, <laughs> go and commit suicide for my amusement. Don't let them fight to the death. Oh, that outrider unit shouldn't have been in there. Yeah, it wasn't paying attention. Very good. <laughs> Very good. The House Garden away. <laughs> it's the House garden away. Have we killed enough of them? Yes, I think we have. I think they'll be deleted now on the campaign map. We'll find out soon enough. If it doesn't crash. Hashtag if, hashtag if it doesn't crash. Hashtag if Devin can talk. <laughs> hashtag no we can't. Yes, there we go. The rebellion is gone. Oh, Night's Watch. Can't believe it. Night's Watch broke their alliance with me. Please, Night's Watch. I was going to send you so many delicious criminals for you to train into Suicide Squad soldiers. 
Don't you want this anymore? Now what am I going to do with the criminals? Eat them? Don't mind if I do. I mean, it's time for House Martell's turn 21. How about that? Welcome back to the age of Petty King's Hot Seed House Gardener. It's time for turn 21. <laughs> Such emotional music for it as well. My name is Mox Mistismus Mordus. <laughs> Husband to a murdered son. <laughs> Father to a murdered wife. <laughs> Oh, it was a hard life being Maximus Dospus Murdus. <laughs> so what are we doing in this turn of the pot seat? Let's uh, try and take revenge on this rebel army. It didn't do anything during the end turn sequence, so that's good. This is quite pleasant music. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the beautiful forests of somewhere near Highgarden. Yes, yes, a wondrous place full of magic. <laughs> magic and death. <laughs> well, I mean, the death isn't so bad when you get used to it. Try and focus on the magic and ignore the screaming, the gore, the pain. <laughs> the magic of nature. Please, please, come over here. Stop glitching out and just come over here. What are you doing? They've nearly finished forming up. Maybe once they've done that. No, no, they're just glitching out. They're just glitching out. I'm going to have to go to them, aren't I? <laughs> These rebels are so incompetent. <laughs> Maybe it's good they're not in my army anymore. If I just stand here, slowly killing these guys with arrows... Maybe they won't notice. <laughs> Don't think they've noticed yet. Quietly, lads. <laughs> Draw those longbows quietly, boys. They haven't seen us yet. <laughs> Kill the enemy quietly. Hit them so they won't scream. They won't know what hit them. Uh-oh. <laughs> Do they know what hit them? <laughs> Who told them? Who fired their longbow loudly? <laughs> you bastards. Look, I've even got these knights going out to do a flank attack. Am I a strategist yet, mummy? <laughs> Please, mummy, let be the king of Highgarden. <laughs> what do you mean I already am? Oh, that has disastrous consequences given my past decisions. <laughs> oh dear. Interesting. Shoot the archers. I know you like killing our own men, troops. <laughs> well, actually, in this battle we are killing our own men, technically, because this is our men we're fighting against for reasons that were completely unexplained and we won't be looking into any further. So... <laughs> Keep killing those gardener dogs. I'll teach you for fighting in the name of Highgarden. This is incredible. <laughs> I love how the, the troops of every other faction fight down to the last, like, two or three men. And our guy is just round of virtually full strength if you attack them. This is great. Oh, no, they're fighting to the death. Lost 100 men. Killed nearly 800 of our own men. Fantastic news. So almost 1,000 of our own men died in that battle. Fantastic! Absolutely amazing! Exactly what we needed. Ah! <laughs> He's just the least convincing Glory death noise of all time. Yeah, the army that was about to attack, that was going to attack Black Crown, has once again gone back into its ships. They would not dare. They would not dare, quite frankly. It's a clear victory. 100 men lost, 800 enemies killed. Boom, 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 kaboom, boom, boom, boom. <laughs> I believe the saying goes. <laughs> That's the uh, <laughs> like the motto of House Gardener. What was it? What was the actual? It was something like we always wash our feet or something. No, what was it? It was something really boring. Our motto, like honor before death or some, something like that. Well, our new motto <laughs> is boom bap, <laughs> boom boom pow. <laughs> anyway, right. We did it, whatever that was, and this guy was just coming kind of towards the middle just to wait around. Let's just go, let's go, I'm out of here, see ya. <laughs> I'm out! Mic dropped. Don't drop this mic, it's expensive. Right. <laughs> Ladies, gentlemen, everyone in between, it's time for the House of Gardener. No, House Gardener, turn 22 with the Age of Petty King's Hot Seat. We're going extra fast today because I've only got half an hour to fucking hell. Only half an hour to do it. Fucking hell, I've only got half an hour to do it. Normally get an hour time limit, but I gotta do something else in half an hour. Play a different game, basically. House Moodin wants trade rights? Sure. Fuck off, Joan River. Jonas Rivers? <laughs> Wait a minute. Anyway, these guys have a lot of allies and enemies going on. My diplomacy is much simpler. Right. Thank God. I was like, God, if someone sent me a message or something, that's gonna really ruin my doing this quick plan. Right. What's happening? Looks like House. Oh, look at that. House Hightower's territory has been wrecked by the fact that I put a fourth in it, apparently. It's caused all this destruction. I guess that's what caused it. So that's good. We're poning them up and we're not even doing anything. God damn it, the amount of Martel ships appearing is uh, escalating. Oh, he's done this deliberately. He's even captured that island. You Martel bastard. I'm sure this is all part of his sneaky plan. Does that mean... Oh, it means this is now a rebel army. That's quite an inconvenient effect because this could actually now come and do some damage. Oh, no. No. And that's a rebel fleet. And I think 
Oh, we screwed. This whole situation down here is just spiraling out of control. And I'm not going to take it under control because we've got more interesting games to go and play. So first, let's just take out the Reavers. We'll drop a save. Kill them with ease. Easy peasy pudding and pie. Kiss the girls and made them cry. Then it crashes, you fucking bitch. You fucking bitch. You fucking crashed after all that. I'm just going to auto-resolve it, because we saw that I did already do it <laughs> in the video, so I have done it at least once. So I'm going to auto-resolve to save my own time, even though auto-resolving is technically against the rules. Since I did actually do it also in this video, hopefully we can bend the rules, especially because this will probably give me a worse result. Yeah, it did. I think I lost about 20 men doing it normally. So, very good. Got rid of them. All right, we are sorted, so that's going to take things into turn 23 in the Age of Pity King's hot seat. <laughs> Still making that sweet, sweet progress, House Martel. <laughs> Keep doing what you're doing. <laughs> I need to get out of this hot seat so I can go back to making other videos that are better and get more views. So if you could come and knock me out, that would be great. <laughs> oh, top of the morning to you. Wait, no, that's the intro of a different channel. Um, Hello. <laughs> Welcome to House Garda turn 23. In the age of petty kings, hot seat. That's what we normally say. And if we can get the password, we will soon be able to get in a suitable husband for Honor Florent. <laughs> hmm. hmm. Yeah, he actually looks okay. We've had some pretty bad husbands come up before. Go on then. We'll take him. This should be a quick turn. I don't know if we have any battles. What I want to do, our main priority right now is to get rid of this army because it's in a really awkward position. This full stack, and it's kind of like behind and off to the side from the front line. So we want to just kind of deal with that as quickly as possible and rush back to the front line before anyone notices. <laughs> That's basically the strategy. And what we could actually do is, by the looks of things, take the full stack out to go over there. And then this army, yes, can just go in there. It's this guy standing just outside the city. Oh, that's the new guy. There he is. Well, why don't you join the army? That'll be fun. So we'll send everyone. Oh, that's the prince. Well, the prince can go out on the magical expedition. That'll be fun. I know just that Martell have sent one unit out into the high, tail, high towers or a territory. Maybe that means we can actually walk past them now. Oh, no, it's just because they put a full stack there instead. Fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> I was going to say we could walk past and put a spy in their land since they seem so uh, determined to stop us from doing it. It kind of makes me want to do it even more. So I guess we can't do that. We'll just leave the spy here. <laughs> we'll find an opportunity. You can't stand there forever. Prince of Dawn. They're doing something similar up here, and we can actually see that they've got two stacks there, which is pretty god darn suspicious. The probability that the Martell are literally about to invade is pretty high, so... <laughs> I mean, you should be happy about that, ladies and gentlemen. Something might actually happen in the hot seat soon. They're going to come up in here, and that's going to get good. We actually do have quite a lot of stuff just around. <laughs> it depends if Durand and Declare War on us at the same time. If they don't, it would be absolutely fine. If they do, that would add to the entertainment because we couldn't bring the sort of two or so stacks that are up here down here. We'd be stuck with like one and a half, or well, maybe two-ish stacks between all these troops. Yeah, these these guys aren't actually any longer uh, blocking. They were completely blocking our access, but it looks like maybe they're not anymore. Or maybe diplomats are allowed to move through zones of control. I'm not totally sure. So we can just do this and just you know just walk through their lands just to have a look. <laughs> Basic bit of spying there. So not much back there. Yeah, they've co completely concentrated on the border. So they're either very suspicious of us or they're about to. Invade, and if I was them, I would invade, as I said before. So, something could be about to happen, but for this turn, I think that's probably going to be the end of it. Oh, wait, wait, I was going to do this here. We want to attack Stony Heart just because the opportunity exists. And we can't do it. <laughs> he can walk right up to it, and that's the end of that. Absolute bullshit, ladies and gentlemen. Right, see what happens in the next turn. Might be a good one. <laughs> or one of the future turns might be a good one. <laughs> Keep holding out hope, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for turn 24 of the Age of Petty Kings Hossie with House Gardener. And we've got the incorrect password. Ah, oh, I so nearly nailed the intro. What? Have I got caps lock on? Come on, let me in. Yes, we're in. <laughs> right, so what are we doing today? No one's declared war on us yet, but looks of things. We're just waiting for Martel to invade right now. But actually, the main action this turn, yeah, it's going to be this. Last time I prepared for a big battle against this huge rebel army, formerly of House Redwin. And, you know, our army's there now, <laughs> so it's time to do it. You know, I was thinking, this Red Wound thing, it's, it's kind of really annoying. It's, it's so far, the whole thing that's happened, this whole AI glitch, essentially, has favoured Martell immensely. And, of course, we don't want that, because Martell have been uh, very, very, very mean to us throughout the campaign. Because, of course, Red Wind's main force spent the entire campaign, as far as we knew it, as far as we know it, sorry, switching between where it's standing now and being on ships, one square to the south, just going backwards and forwards for the whole campaign. 
And as a result of that, Marta actually just went and took all their territories <laughs> while their army was over here. So that was basically some free territories from Martel in a really awkward position if they are to declare war on us, which we assume they will, because they can make landings, you know, like anywhere from here. I guess he's dead. Yeah, <laughs> I sent the diplomat in last turn just to go, like, because they, it was open last turn. So I sent the diplomat in to just go and stand here and see if anything was behind the front line. There was nothing of interest, but I guess he yeah, didn't want me looking around or even want me doing any diplomacy with him, apparently, because what if I was just sending him in there to talk to him? I guess I wouldn't. I guess it was pretty obvious I was using that diplomat to spy, but still, assassinating diplomats when you are neutral to a faction is a little bit underhanded. I think you'll all agree. So far, Martel's been very dishonourable, especially with regard to our diplomats. Wait, is that a Redwind fleet? No. Oh, it's House Crab. Okay, they, they just look similar to Redwind. <laughs> Having flashbacks. Right, so what are we doing? So, <laughs> enough time wasting. Let's do this battle. We're going to bring in these random two guys as reinforcements. And the main force will simply step outside, give them a battle. Looks like it's slightly in our favour, so that's nice. We have a lot more troops than them, but of course, Gardener troops always prove to be relatively trash. <laughs> These guys are... Wait, some of them... Yeah, they're rushing back to their line, except these ones. Well, ah! These are the clever ones. Look, most of the arrows went over their heads and hit the main bulk of the unit. This is incredible when these crossbowmen yeah, are sacrificing their friends so that they can live. Good work. Good work. They're going to try and reform into a loose formation, thus buying me even more time to rain arrows from their longbows. What was that? They did the firing animation, but no arrows came out. <laughs> well, this is a nice glitch in our favour. Carry on then, troops. <laughs> Things seem to be going well for us so far. They have one archer left. <laughs> He's facing a rain of arrows. Oh god, the enemy's just charging everything now. <laughs> they they waited until they had one archer. And then they were like, shit! We're losing the archer battle. There's only one left. And he's dead. Cut down on a hail of arrows. Right. Lost 500, killed 1,500. Very good. We killed two of the three or four, I think, officers there on the enemy side. I think that should just delete the entire army, right? Please just go away now, rebels. Yes, they're gone. They are gone. This is fantastic news. So, that means this army can now be dead, but <laughs> come around to rejoin the fight with Hightower, or probably fight Martel landing forces at some point, who knows. Now, the one other thing we need to do this turn is this little battle over here. You can see we've prepared men, and I wanted to do, set this siege up last time, but I couldn't, because my men had like one foot less movement points than needed to actually do it. Anyway, so we're going in. This is still an assault. We've actually brought a catapult, so what I'm hoping here is that the catapult will be able to take down the wooden walls. Look at that balance bar. We've brought a thousand men. <laughs> We've got Basically 400. God damn it. Are these Midland Levy really good or something? They look like the same as mine. Halberds. Oh, they've got one unit. Of, they've got two units of knights. That's probably why. So we need to focus down our archers on those knights. Oh, I'm sure this will be fine. <laughs> probably. <laughs> we can do this. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> So the enemy are going to charge forwards. We are also going to charge forwards like this with these two units in the hope of capturing these gates. Charge forwards, I said. Actually, I seem to remember even if you capture the gates, they still shoot you even when you're near them. Whatever. This is a nice engagement for us because the enemy will be under our arrow fire. Oh, nice shot the entire time. So we want to just kind of hold them here and just, just shoot them with the, the archers. That's our main way to kill them. Oh dear, oh dear. Lost almost a third of our troops. More than a third of our troops. You know that thing I said about the enemy gatehouse still shooting you even if you've captured it, in this mod at least. I believe that's true. Although now, it has actually stopped firing now. Interesting, interesting. <laughs> basically shot up a whole bunch of our men, even if we've captured it basically immediately. But at last, enough of a gap was made in this fight. I know it's shooting us now again. Do you hear that? Ba -jum, ba -jum. Yeah, it's shooting little arrows out. Cutting our men down. So it is still going at us. Strong. <laughs> Very annoying. Anyway, knights re-attacking these units. We've lost half our men. Really, 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 look at that. We just lost everything. We really should have not done the attack this turn. I wanted to do it just because they had the catapults and this was a novel idea of attacking, but it doesn't work at all. Or at the very least, I should have found a way to take the battle away from this tower because it's wiped out probably at least a third of our archers and the vast majority of our infantry directly underneath the tower were annihilated. This is outrageous. Get me out of here. Look at how we lost way more than they did. Don't crash. Actually, maybe he should crash if we can just do that again. Or not do it, as it were. That was a disaster. I, am, I think I'm allowed at least to actually just reload the save and not do it. Uh, so to go back to the save just before the fight. 
but uh, I like to Iron Man it, as I mentioned before, just for, I don't know, just for lols, at least to get it over sooner. House Bracken aren't happy about that. I'm not happy about that either. House Bracken, we can recruit an Outrider, might as well. What an absolute disaster. Let's uh, not tax the people in order to make them happy about it. I think we're done, yes. So we'll see if a big war breaks out soon. Probably will. End the turn there. Let's get out of here. Phew. House Martel, are you enjoying your not secret plan to invade me? At least I know about it. If it was secret, that would be truly devastating. If Lannister invaded me now, I don't I didn't suspect a thing from Lannister. That would be a great idea. Lannister, probably want to get in on this. Anyway, I'm going away now. Amazing. So guys, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs>